Hello, Lilith. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Guys, thank you for joining my channel. Make sure if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your friends and drop down in that comment section. Drop down and get your eagle on, girl. Drop down and get your comment on, girl. Okay. Um, and <laughs> make sure that if you want to be a part of the chatterbox that you click the join button next to the subscribe button. Um, usually if you're on an Apple device, um, you have to go to your uh, desktop um, or otherwise there's a link in the description bar for you to click that link. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join the chatterbox. Um, it is $1.99 per month. Um, payments are handled through PayPal. I mean not PayPal, uh, YouTube. Um, some people use their PayPal account. Some people use their credit card. I don't know. But that I don't have nothing to do with. Um, we do do at least one live stream per month. Um, it's uh, interactive. I'm trying to get it even more interactive. And it's pretty cool because um, like last night we had a really good time. We had a panel of uh, collectors on the not just me and we all got to talk and you know laugh and you know and we were actually online for what two and a half hours or something like that in the chat box it was pretty cool so um thank you everybody that came out last night we'll have to do it again um sometime i do more than one live stream a month but as you guys know i am extremely stretched thin and um i'm not just saying it just to be seeming like i'm somebody special it's just that i really am and you guys see that I'm, you know, painting, I'm um, rooting, I'm um, entertaining, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, trying to keep up with my videos, trying to keep up with all my platforms as far as like Instagram, my blog, which is MrRenitysmithBabies.com. My, um, just everything. And then on top of that, I have five kids and a grandbaby. Um... So, look, and now I got to add, and a grandbaby. <laughs> um, and so, it is a busy, busy thing. Plus, I am a collector mommy. I'm not just a regular collector. I am a collector mommy. Like, I literally hold my babies, rock my babies, dress my babies, shop for my babies, give them pacifiers, put them in, you know, swings. I buy accessories for my babies. I buy do everything like they are real babies um except for i know they are not but that's why i like like i told um the people last night the ladies last night um that's why i like the chatterbox although yes anybody can get in there and you know cause ruckus or whatever to a certain extent because i do have some type of a th you know um weight that i can restrain that but for the most part, which I haven't ran into that type of situation, even if there's someone in there that disagree with what I'm saying or whatever, at least it's a doll collector or a doll artist, someone that's within our community. We don't have to be sitting here trying to explain everything as we go like we do with the, you know, gym pop. Anybody can pop up and see this video, right? So, um, I know that I'm already three minutes into this video and <laughs> I know you guys are like, okay, but we not, are we not going to just talk about this baby sitting here? Okay. So without further ado, some of you guys, most of you guys that follow me on Facebook and Instagram have already met this little fellow. He is Finn by Lillian Breville, right? So he is a full body sculpt. The sculpt name is Finn. The sculptor name is Lillian Breville, and on Facebook is Lillian Breville Dress. Um, it's like hyphenated and D E R E S. And he was poured by Claire Teller Dolls. Um, Claire Teller Dolls uh, produce, not produce, um, mold and pours for Lillian Breville. Um, and so. He is in the soft silicone all one piece. I'm not going to go over his details and everything just yet because I'm not done with him. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but his um, I still have to do his nails. And of course, he's going to get eyebrows and hair. 
but he has to wait his turn. So I decided I needed a baby. I don't have a boy. As you guys know, Noah left. And so I am just, I was just not able to, you know, have, I only have Phoebe as silicone. So he is the only, so right now I have a boy and a girl silicone baby. And I know the next question is going to be um, putting them together. Um, and I will. Um, he may seem come across lighter than Phoebe on camera in some pictures. Some pictures he seem a little lighter. Some pictures he seem a little darker. It's kind of harder to photograph him because I modeled him a lot. And um, he is also, I tried to paint him as 3D as possible. So that makes the camera pick up all the different colors in him. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. So yeah, so that's that's my little booga booga. Um, I did happen to get a couple pictures without a flash um, today. And so um, I will try to include that. So I want to answer a few questions during this video as well. Um, one of the questions is how do you, someone asked me, how do I determine, um, what skin tone, um, I'm going to paint a kit. So a lot of times I just look at the kit, uh, features and I kind of have an idea of where I want to go. I'll have inspiration pictures kind of lined up. I don't paint from just one inspiration pictures, uh, picture. Um, I take different things from different pictures that I want. And I try to go from there. And then, you know, like every every sculpt is not going to look good in, you know, you know, a Caucasian skin tone or a, a biracial skin tone or a AA skin tone. And when I say that, I only mean to my, with my skill level. So, right. So I know what my weaknesses are. I know what my strengths are. So when I say that I'm talking about for me. Another artist might come in and kill it, like nail it, might get it, like be able to do it and pull it off. Um, so I know where my strengths are and then I match it up to the kit and I try to, and sometimes it don't come out right and sometimes it does. Another question that a lot of people ask me, like, will you ever like try to teach like classes? Cause I guess that's the going thing now. Everybody kind of teach. And I'm going to say it like this. Um, and I, and this is, no shade, no tea. I, I heard that you're supposed to say that before you get ready to say something that somebody gonna be offended by. Um, why would I teach someone to paint like me for a one-time fee when I can paint my own babies and make more money selling my own brand? Um, it just don't make sense to me. Um, if I was not able to sell my babies and paint my you know whatever maybe i would i don't know but it's just not something i want to do i don't make uh sculpts i'm not a sculptor i don't sell kits so it's nothing beneficial for me to show somebody to do exactly what i do whatever that is child um and it's not to sound arrogant or sound like i'm doing the most or can't do the most or whatever but it's just that's just not my thing i'm i'm not a teacher I don't give out advice. I don't give out colors. I barely even let people know what I'm doing as far as I share a lot, but there is so much that I just keep to myself. Like, you know, so a lot of people will ask me, what color did you get this kit from? What this, if I don't openly share it, then I'm not going to privately tell you either. So, and it's not to be rude. It's just my business and you know, my thing, like I, I don't have to tell people what colors I'm mixing to get this or, you know, what, what, uh, kit that I'm, you know, what pour am I coming from or what this or that, like, that's my choice. If that's what I, you know, whatever I want to do. Um, I will say that, um, my, I, I've always tell people my personal preference is to start from a Caucasian pour when it comes to silicone. Um, Vinyl, I do not like to paint peachy vinyl, and I have not mastered painting German vinyl. So, um, I won't even touch those kits because it, it just won't work. So, 
you know, I am still learning and trying to, you know, perfect my craft. You know what I mean? Um, so that's another reason too. Soon as you tell somebody something and it don't go right, they're going to be like, you said no, I don't want to deal with that. Um, what else? Um, buying people ask me to suggest like buying babies um i don't do that anymore um i haven't did it in a while for the most part i really prefer not to i prefer you to do your own research and decide who you want to buy um just wanted to um he does have a fist and an open hand i will show you guys that and i'm put his mitts back on but he does have a fist and an open hand and like I said, his nails are not done yet. So I save that for last because it's usually like tedious. I'll kind of start on them a little bit as I go. Sometimes I do have them finished by the time I'm finished, but sometimes it's the last thing I do. So, and he has an open hand here. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's his hand. But like I said, he just needs his nails completed. Um, but you know, that's a little tedious process because <laughs> every little thing that you do to them have to cure before you move to the next level, it seems like, and it's just tedious. So like he needs another real bath and all that stuff, you know, from his matting. So you might see a little bit of residue on him, but for the most part, he is done. I'm not going to strip him down completely. But I will show you guys his little tummy and belly button. And I don't know how it's going to show up on camera because, like I said, he is modeled a lot. So he's painted different, a little bit different from Phoebe. He has more modeling. So his whole, and then his little belly button. I love, I love his belly button. I love his, his tummy. So let me see what you guys can see to see if you guys can even... Yeah, let's see. Um, so, let me see if I can get more light. But yeah, that's his tummy. Um, and so he is, like I said, he is definitely um, my little snookum. <laughs> yeah. You know, bugger, bugger. But yeah, I just, you know, I really enjoy painting um, both um, silicone and reborns when I can just kind of freeform it and stuff like that. Rooting is not my thing, but I will root the silicone. I am going to try my hardest to master rooting um, vinyl. So I can root some of the small heads myself. Um, I'm trying to learn how to paint hair, not for silicones. Um, I absolutely do not like painted hair on silicones. I did see one artist that did it really well and I did consider buying a baby once. But for the most part, it is not my thing. I do not, I prefer, um, unless it's just baby edges, I prefer um, silicone babies to be either just ball or rooted. Um, the painted hair to me just really steals the 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 realism for me. Um, you know, and that's just a personal opinion. Um, people ask me where do I buy my blank kits from. I mostly have gotten my blank kits from like either via Lillian Breville or um um Clear Teller, um, I have had some, I had one, two from Elsa Rodriguez, I've, uh, painted, but then the other ones are pretty much come from other, like, mommies that I painted for them, like, I've painted some of, a couple other ones, but they were not, um, not my personal babies, so, yes. So I am excited, you know, about everything and I just wanted to introduce him. Oh, I got to do a name reveal. So I did pick a name 
and um but i just want to be 100 percent sure next but i think i got the name and i can't wait to share it and so this video is long so i'm gonna stop right here